Namaste, angels. Thank you for joining, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, trusting me to do your client readings, your private personal readings, your energy healing, that of your friend, your family members, your divine masculine, your divine feminine, your pets. I really do um, appreciate it. I thank you very much. Um, this is the biweekly reading for the period of December 2nd, so tomorrow, Monday, through December 15th for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, this is your reading. My sister's a Pisces. I just finished talking to her. It's so funny because um, we don't live in the same area. I, well, we don't even live in the same state. I live in New York. She lives in South Carolina. I just spoke to her. She lives in North Carolina now, actually, in Charlotte. I just spoke to her. Um, but the, yeah, it's funny. She was uh, February 19th, the first day of Pisces. Anyway, uh, Pisces, you've got some repeat energies from some of the other signs that I've done, particularly this Queen of Swords. Not only has she made her way around um, the astrological readings, but she showed up in the collective reading, one of the collective readings that I did over the weekend too. So you guys may want to check those out as well. And of course your sun, moon, rising sign, as well as that of your mate if you have one, um, at least their sun sign, because you want to see like these energies that are repeating and maybe get a more full uh, and complete message for free. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's worth it. So the Queen of Swords um, is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or someone likened to those traits or attributes. She does not have to be an air sign, but she, of course, very well can be. And But in this case, she, um, if she is, it's just one aspect of her, because, again, this is the Pisces reading. So some of you may, you know, be a Libra moon or something like that, you know or be dealing with a, a Libra or an Aquarius or a Gemini romantically or in some sort of situation in that nature, you know, very close to you, somebody is an air sign. So all of those are possible. And, but in this position, this is the card that's most directly representing you. And the Queen of Swords, when she's in reverse, can be representative of obstacles. She may be an actual person because she's a court card and court cards tend to represent people that are actually in our lives. And if she is an actual person, again, she may I mean, very... Um, realistically be actually be a not only a feminine energy but a female and maybe an older one perhaps dark hair dark eyed and the type of person that you do not want to get on her bad side um, in some cases she may even be mean to be honest you know um, just not a very nice person but um, in other cases she's just an air sign and so she kind of doesn't have that middle emotion you know she's in her her typical energy, you know, which maybe, you know, pleasant or whatever, or she's not. And so you don't want to take her to where she's not, not where you got to kiss her ass or you got to treat her differently from anybody else, but you just got to be aware of the kind of person that you're dealing with and, you know, different personalities, um, with you, yours being, um, a more emotional personality, maybe taking things more personal, um, and having one perspective and an air sign sort of being, um, disconnected from emotion, very, very detached, um, sometimes even, you know, come across or can be accused of being cold, um, and feelingless and so, but this is the card over this period that's most directly, um, representing you. So it may just, you know, very well have to do with obstacles and where it does, I think those obstacles for the most part in your life are coming up, uh, either in your relationships with those around you, perhaps with the nine of wands, um, showing up next to you and like the surrounding energy this can be representative of just the feeling of being like really defeated and just um feeling you know like blaming yourself feeling guilty and um and, and like wrong for being tired you know for being uh, like i just can't do this anymore i can't take it anymore i'm exhausted spiritually exhausted or emotionally exhausted with some of the things that are going on in my life and then feeling bad about that or feeling guilty about that and like blaming yourself oh well, that's why you know xyz is my fault and stuff like that can be what this card is about uh, so we want to be careful of that of course because then then you have the potential of um like putting self-imposed blocks in front of yourself which would make sense okay again if the if this queen of swords is most directly representing your energy um and she's an obstacle it you know, could be connected to some emotions that you've got going on here of just feeling defeated and, and exhausted spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Um, you know what I mean? Now that you may be feeling like that because something is going on at work, uh, Pisces. 
Now, another thing that can that the um, Queen of Swords in reverse can mean is like um, data mistakes, like your bill is wrong, your receipt is wrong, um, your you know like your bank balance is wrong. Somebody made some sort of error, and normally um, I would say that the error is in your favor. Um, however, with the Queen of Swords in this position here sitting atop the work and finance position and the six of swords being in this work and finance position, uh, you may be the person that's actually making the mistake. The six of swords in reverse in the position of work um, can mean that a simple mistake or, or the energy that like causes this card to show up or that this card represents. Um, can, wait, how do I want to say this? Yeah, I think I should have said it the way I started to. A simple mistake can easily cause a major problem when this card is showing up. So yeah, the energy that's surrounding you when this card shows up, something can, something that starts out small and maybe even insignificant can completely blow up your weight. I don't know even sure if that's the word, right? You just completely explode out of control and turn into a big issue. Only it's not funny. I mean, I'm laughing because I'm making up words, but it's not funny because this is at work. So it, you know, it could cause you a problem and you're going to want to be uh, particularly careful about like, um, you know, important documents, papers, correspondence, um, certainly if you have, if you work a job where you have to add anything, like I may, I'm, it may have had, um, in my old job, for example, like spreadsheets and stuff, because I did accounting, I did, you know, like bookkeeping and things. Certainly if you do those kind of jobs, double and triple check your work over the next two weeks. Um, if you're somebody who's looking for work, you're out of work, you're looking for a job or, or you have a job, but you're wanting to change or whatever. And you kind of may feel like defeated in that sense too but with this crossing this nine of, of wands like you know you're just out here on your own and there's no support and whatever but you know what it's that's not like you know nobody's handing you a job none of your friends like are saying oh here's a job there's a job and maybe you're that person that does that and so that's why you, you you'd expect it in return too like man when my people are looking for a job i'm always there to help them and give them a hookup or give them at least point them in the right direction nobody's doing that for me it's not necessarily such a bad thing um, that you're sort of on your own journey and quest and allow, allow yourself to go ahead and um, look in those places that maybe those other people, your friends and family members might not even consider. And because I, I, it's the way that this reads is that that's going to be the sort of thing that you're into. Maybe something that's a little bit um unexpected of you or maybe even completely off the beaten path and unexpected of most people. And so somebody else can't help you find that. That's something that your soul is going to help you find. Your card that's in the position of love and relationship is pretty awesome. Actually, it's one of my favorites, the six of pentacles, the six of coins. It's one of my favorite cards in general. Um, but as it relates to love and relationship, you know, it, it means that there's, there's a lot of balance in your relationship. You're both um, open to the energy of giving and receiving. And that's not just like material stuff or finances or you pay my bills or whatever. I mean, it goes deeper than that. It goes to, you know, this, the spiritual depths and like you feed my spirit. You know what I mean? You, you give to my spirit and I give to yours. I'm willing to, I'm open to accepting from yours. You know, like to really like let you in, but it also points to in, in a general sense, like generosity, people being really, um, generous and, and positive, optimistic, happy, balanced, just in love, unconditional love. And I think, this, I think that's why it's my favorite card. Um, and you, you got it when this card shows up, if you haven't been doing that, you got to allow your mate to, um, to give to you and you got to, um, allow yourself to receive. And I'm mentioning those in particular, because I think most of us, um, you know, most of us do better with giving. Like we want to be the giver, even if we're going to complain about it after, like sometimes we're the giver and then later we're like, nobody ever gives me anything. No, you know, you never receive anything. 
you know, and I'm not, I'm not just talking at you. I'm talking about like us all, um, especially females. We got this, um, we tend to have a giving nature and, and I don't want to talk about it as if it's a negative thing, but it's a good thing to want to give to people and show people love and stuff. But we're often closed off to receiving and then in like the next breath, will be going on about how nobody ever gives us it because you're blocking your blessings. You're blocking the energy of receiving. So when this card shows up, there is, if it's not already happening, there's the, absolutely the capacity for it to happen on both ends and for love to pass both, pass both ways. And so it makes me very, very happy for this card to not only be showing up in your spread, but to be showing up particularly in the placement of love and romance. Um, so I'm thrilled to, that, that it's coming up there for you. Those of you who are single, I got really, really good news for you when this card shows up too. Um, you're very likely to meet somebody, especially if you're trying and you're out there, whatever, right? You're unattached and looking single, ready to mingle, um, you know, all those cliches. Um, somebody may introduce you, maybe somebody with whom you work with the pentacles showing up or somebody connected to um, your material life as opposed to other aspects of your life. They may introduce you to somebody. And out of that relationship could come some really, really genuine, again, unconditional love. Or you can meet somebody on your own. And even still, the type of relationship is going to be like what you're looking for in a partner or what we should be looking for in a partner. So again, somebody who is going to be generous with us, um, but also capable of receiving from us, just open and um, allows for love to pass both ways the na the way that it needs to in order to be healthy so what do we got you know all that sounds great so what do we got to be careful about well your overall energy here um i don't know why i saved it for last maybe i was trying to avoid it myself <laughs> because everything else was so good overall energy here is the four of cups and the four of cups can be a card that it's like i'm maybe because it's showing up because you're feeling defeated like this it's like um I don't, ex I, I'm not expecting anything. And so I might miss what comes for me. Like, well, nothing good ever happens to me. I, no, no, you know, love of a lifetime ever shows up on my doorstep, you know, or never gets introduced to me. So I'm not even paying attention. My eyes are closed. Blah, blah, blah. I can't see you is the kind of energy of the four of cups. Like, you know, because we're not expecting any good. We're very pessimistic. Um, we're putting out a lot of, you know, negative energy of, uh, and energy of rejecting, um, a blessing, it gets rejected. It gets blocked. So um, by doing that, we miss the opportunity. The, the Four of Cups is a card of missing an opportunity. And so we want to be very, very careful about um, the energy that we're putting out and, and the thoughts that we're having about ourselves and that we may even be speaking uh, or thinking right about ourselves and putting into the universe. It's, it's just, you know, important to be positive and other things that this card can mean is, you know, like we're focused on one thing. So maybe you're focused on one particular job or you're focused on one particular person um, with whom you could be introduced, you know, or to whom you could be introduced. And so that could be blocking a blessing from the person that, you know, you're really going to be introduced to or the job that's really going to be offered to you. So you just want to be, again, open to receiving in this uh, regard as well. And... Um, on that note, to letting go of something that is holding you back, any fear, any, again, um, negative emotions like blame, guilt, um, pride, the inability to forgive, regret, resentment, just let it all go. It's time to release the past and to move on to something new. This ending is the first step to a happier future. Amen. It absolutely is for you, Pisces. Right behind this upright is also the Four of Spring, Four of Wands. Only a couple of other signs have gotten the Four of Wands. Uh, I think Taurus? I'm not sure. Definitely, like I said before, check out your you know sun, moon, rising sign. And if you already are attached, you already are in a committed relationship, check out your mate's sign too, because you may see these cards, uh, the same cards showing up and be able to get like a really full, full picture of what you guys can expect. But letting go of negative emotions, allowing yourself to transition to the next phase um, for positive, happy, um, things to happen to you, good things to happen to you in your future and for you to receive like real, uh, genuine, healthy, feel good love, maybe from a Scorpio, 
Major Arcana card 13 release represents the sign of Scorpio. It is death in the traditional tarot. Or like I said, maybe from an air sign. It could be from anybody. But these are the um, energies that you have showing up most prominently in your spread. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, also strong possibilities. And further to this, what I've been doing is pulling three cards that are upright from this deck to further clarify your love and relationship card, even though yours is already so awesome and doesn't really need clarification. Let's see what else we get. Okay, so you see this is death. It's upright. I'm just going to turn. So the next card is in reverse. I will not pull this one or this one. This is your first card. This is your second card. I'm not pulling this one. Not pulling this one. Not pulling this one. Or this one. <laughs> or this one. This is crazy. Okay. Okay. This is your third card. We'll move these away too. This is all to clarify further the six of pentacles and we got ooh, the prince of summer what i say maybe a score right pisces i don't know what happened i was recording and the camera went off i hope that it caught everything up to this because i just noticed it i think it just happened and i just pulled these three additional cards for you um so I was saying, yeah, probably a Scorpio or possibly a Scorpio is what I had said. And the Prince of Summer could definitely be a Scorpio. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective and enchanting. He also may be a Pisces like yourself or even a Cancer or possibly not a water sign at all. Now, also for me, the Knight of Cups, um, which is who the Prince of Summer is, is often somebody who was in our life before that's coming back. So if you have anybody that you're interested in... Um, Maybe letting go of the old energy you had between you and starting off fresh and positive and, and you know, having ending up with something like this. There's room for that. There's room for that to happen here. Also, another reason why he may be a Scorpio is the major arcana card four. The emperor shows up here. The emperor for me represents the planet Mars, the ruler of the sign of Scorpio and the sign of Aries, fire sign Aries. I haven't done um, Aries reading yet because... Um, the fire signs don't show me as much love as the water signs and the earth signs. So I did y'all first, but I'm going to get to them and, we'll, and you can check out their reading when I do. Structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as, you're, uh, as you have much wisdom to offer. This um, person with whom you're dealing may, of course, be an actual um, masculine energy and further to that male and perhaps even a married man or have been a married man. Maybe that's why you guys had a part. You know, if it's somebody that was out of your life for a while and they're returning, um, maybe married or maybe a father, you know, person with children, uh, both a divorcee, a widower, or the, the, the marriage material kind, you know, so he's uh, maybe a little bit more mature than you and or older than you, you know, but in years and you just weren't ready. Something like that could have happened, but there's definitely opportunity now. You may still have some differences like the odd couple, as they say, like one is a neat freak and one is kind of sloppy, all those kind of things. But you can figure it out, you know, especially with the energy of the Six of Pentacles and this, you know, unconditional love. You can figure that out if, you, if you're interested in doing that and willing to do that. Um, also, what joins you here is Major Arcana. Kind of card 18 the moon it says to listen to your intuition listen to your gut listen to your heart so if those things are moving you toward a particular person or um, situation in your life go for it you know what i mean it's important to trust your intuition even if you're unsure of what's happening all will be revealed soon so worry is unnecessary um, major arcana card 18, the moon represents a sign of Pisces. It's your sign, uh, in the tarot. And of course, earth's moon, you know, so like the actual moon above us rules the sign of cancer. So maybe, so again, it can be another water sign for sure. Um, any of the water signs, and it can really be anybody who is coming for you. Um, but whoever it is, it looks like it's going to be really, really good. So congratulations. I hope that you guys have enjoyed your bi-weekly. And I'll be back for you again in two weeks. If you'd like any services from me or um, 
merchandise or just to talk and be friends or whatever on social media. The information to do any and all of that will be in the description box. If you're not yet a subscriber, please do consider hitting both the subscribe button and the bell button. And if you like the video and or found it, you know, helpful for you, please do actually like the video, like hit the like button. Thanks guys. Good night.